Hey everybody, guess who? Mr. Devon with another computer introductions technology moment for you guys with Rayfield Family Literacy. I'm gonna figure out a name for this segment. I'm gonna figure out an official name. Um, but until then, it's going to change a million times. So I'm here to talk to you all today about a little thing we've been using called Zoom. Now, Zoom has been our saving grace during this pandemic. It has allowed us to continue to connect with you guys who are forced to stay at home in order to protect you from this horrible virus. So since we've been using Zoom, we've been able to do things like say hello to each other or sing happy birthday, celebrate birthdays. Also, you've been able to talk to your friends and all those great things. But we have a little bit of a little bit of challenges with this that we have to uh, take care of. One of those challenges is making sure that everybody who logs in logs in with their name. We want to know who you are. We want to be able to say hi to you. We want to call you by your name. We don't want to call you by your device. I don't want to say, hey, iPhone, thanks for being on the meeting today. Thanks for being in class today. I don't want to do that. What I'd like to do is if your name is Leon or if your name is, I don't know, Katrina, I want to be able to say, hi, Leon. Hi, Katrina. Hi, Zedric. Hi, Franz. I want to be able to say hi to all of you, you know? So in order to do that, we've got to take care of a major step. Now I'm going to show you how to make sure that when you log on to Zoom, whether you're signed into your account or you're using it as a guest, you always put your name. Now you have to make sure you do this each time because if you don't, when you log in, it may say your device name and we won't know who you are. I know some of you have devices that don't work with a microphone or you don't turn your camera on. So we can't speak with you or even, you know, see you to say, oh, that's, oh, that's Shatidra or, oh, that is, uh, uh, that's uh, Leroy. We can't do that because the camera's not on and the mic's not on or they're not connected. So help us help you by making sure that you follow the steps I'm about to walk you through today. Okay. So I'm going to use my trusty iPad. I love this thing. Um, I just love it. It's, it's so convenient and flexible. It's great to use. So we're going to use this iPad. All right. Now on all of your smart devices, whether it's your phone, your tablet, Android, iOS, Windows, um, if you're using a laptop or desktop, remember that you can install Zoom on all of your devices. It doesn't matter what it is. You could have a tablet, a smartphone. You can put Zoom on most smart devices, okay? When you go onto your device and you go to the home screen, you see all of your apps. Some of you have a search feature. If you are on the iOS, like an iPhone or an iPad, you have a search feature. So to find that, what you want to do is you want to just slide down on your screen. Okay, did you see that? I'm bring it closer. All right, so I'm going to show you again. Um, let's get that in focus. Okay, let's get that in focus. My webcam is a little challenged. Boom, there we go, in focus. So what you're going to do is you're just going to slide down. It doesn't matter where on the screen you are. Slide down. If you're on an Android, let me show you that because I actually have an Android here. If you're on an Android, Mm -hmm. Got to get connected. If you're on an Android, most Android devices have updated their OS, their operating system, so that you can do things like um, swiping up to see your, your apps. They're, they're in what is called the app tray. So on your screen, you just see your regular screen, but hidden are all of your other apps. So what you want to do on this device, on your Android device, if you can see that clearly, I'm going to slide it up, is you just want to swipe up. Swipe up and now I can see all of my apps. Okay, look at that. You even see my Capital One app. Don't go to my Capital One app. That's where my money is. Okay, but you can see all the apps. Cash app. Now you can go to Cash app if you're going to Cash app me. Okay, Cash <laughs> Cash app me $1 million and we'll be best friends forever. But those are all my apps. So on either device, if you're on an iOS or an app, if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, swipe down swipe down. If you're on an Android, swipe up and it's going to bring up uh, a search option. Now, in your case on the Android, you don't you don't get the same search option like you would get on an um on an Apple device, right? Y yours doesn't automatically go to the search like it would on an Apple device, but your search should be at the very top. You see that it says search apps right there. And that's where you want to type in Zoom. See it at the bottom of my screen? Zoom, Z O O M. Zoom. Bam, and then you're in. So I'm gonna type in Zoom, Z-O-O-M, and as you can see, it brings up the Zoom 
icon. You all know what the Zoom icon looks like. You should because you use Zoom all the time, right? So there is the Zoom icon. Or maybe somebody helps you and you don't know, but that's what it looks like. It is a blue square with a beautiful, beautiful white camera icon, okay? Now, on an iPhone or an iPad, it's a bit different. So let me show you what that's going to look like. So on a device like this, remember, on these devices, we just swipe down. Boom. And there it is. There it is. Okay. Now my search is different. It's already there. So the keypad is there. All I've got to type in is Z-O-O-M. Boom. Boom. Zoom. That, that rhymes. Boom. Zoom. It's so hard to get it to focus. Why won't you focus, camera? So my camera's not focusing right. But there's Zoom, and Zoom is the same icon. It's a blue square with a white camera. It's the same, okay? So when you tap to go in, and I'm gonna go back to my tablet, maybe you can see it clearer here. Okay, you see that? It's the same icon. It's that blue square with the white camera. And all I gotta do is tap it, and now I'm in. Now, when you get to this screen, now you see my picture right here? That's because I'm logged into Zoom. If you don't see the picture, it may even give you an option to log in. If you see that, that means you just have the app on your device and you're not logged in. You don't have to log into Zoom to use Zoom. But we want to see your picture, even if your camera's not on. So think about creating an account on Zoom and then logging in every time you get on for Rayfield Virtual School. That way we can see your picture and we can see your name. Now, Looking at my screen, you see where it says join meeting at the very top. So right here, right there, we got join meeting, right? And then under that, we got meeting ID. And that's where you put the Rayfield meeting ID, which is 798344. There's my phone dropping. Four. And 1944. So again, again, your Zoom ID is 7983. Four 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 one nine four four. So remember those numbers because that's your Zoom meeting ID for Rayfield Family Literacy. Okay. All right. Now under the meeting ID, you see the blue text that says "Join with personal link name." Right. Right. Oop. Let's do that again. Okay. Meeting ID goes there. Let me type it in again because I hit. It. I hit it. One two three. 1944. Okay, 1944. 44. And then let's just do this one adjustment. Okay, so let's see if I can do this without messing up. All right, if I mess up, you guys can laugh at me. All right, now you see the blue, the blue words right here. Those blue words, the blue words say join with personal link name. You don't need to click that. Okay, but under that is another area. Alcatel. You see that? A lot of your devices say Alcatel because that's the tablet we gave you from Rayfield, which means that you're not changing that and you're not putting in your name. So you're getting on and we don't know that you're getting on. All right. We want to know it's you. So you see this little X right here? Where is it? Right there. You see that little X right there? Boom. You want to tap that X. When you tap that X, it's going to get rid of all those letters and allow you to put in your name. So I'm going to, you may not be able to see it that clear, but I'm going to try to do this on camera with you. So we're just going to, oop, I did it wrong again. Ugh, it's so hard to do. Let's try it one more time. 3444, 1944. All right, we're going to do that one more time. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try this one last time, you guys. Hopefully I get it right, okay? But I'm going to tap that little X and then watch Alcatel go away. Boom. Oh, it's not doing what I wanted to do. Okay, so now my name is there. But I'm going to do this as if your name wasn't there. So I tap the X, and now it's empty, right? And what does it say? Screen name. We want you to put your name right there. We want to know it's you. So my name is Mr. Devon. Devon. Mr. Devon, D-E-V-O-N. But don't put my name, okay? Because I'm not you, you're not me. Put your name. If you're Fred, put Fred. I want to see Fred there, okay? If you're Nadej, put Nadej. You know how to spell your name? If you don't know how to spell your name, make sure you ask for help so you can put it in the right way, okay? So now I put Mr. Devon. So when Mr. Cook or Mr. Frank or Ms. Lori or Dr. Carter get on, they know it's me. They know it's Mr. Devon. Monsieur Devon, okay? Okay. So there's my name. Mr. Devon. Now, 
after I put in the meeting ID and my name, right? 1944. Guess what? Join turns blue. Join turns blue. Azul. Bleh. Okay? It's blue. Now I can join the meeting. And when I join the meeting, they're going to know it's Mr. Devon. Even if I don't have a picture, even if my camera's not on or my microphone, they're going to know it's Mr. Devon because my name says it. You'll be just like everybody who gets on and their names are there, okay? So just make sure that all of you, when you log in, you follow those steps, you put your name in, you put that meeting ID in, and then you can join Zoom the right way. If you have any questions, as always, you can always reach out to us. All you got to do is send a message to Dr. Carter or Ms. Lori or Mr. Frank. They'll get it to me. I could do another video and show you guys how it's done. I promise you. I want to make your lives so easy. That's it for today. So until next time. Remember, as always, to stay positive and test negative. So we'll see you next time.